It's not often that the two presidential candidates sound like they're reading from the same talking points. But with John McCain campaigning in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and Barack Obama in Green Bay, Wisconsin, both warned that the administration's economic plan falls short because of a lack of oversight. We cannot give a blank check to Washington with no oversight and no accountability when no oversight and accountability is exactly what got us into this mess in the first place. This arrangement makes me deeply uncomfortable. We won't solve a problem caused by poor oversight with a plan that has no oversight. McCain and Obama also sounded similar themes in demanding that the rescue plan keep the focus on average Americans on Main Street, not the titans of Wall Street. My plan is about keeping people in their homes and safeguarding the life savings of all Americans by protecting our financial system and capital markets. We need a plan that helps families stay in their homes and workers keep their jobs. A plan that gives hardworking Americans relief instead of using taxpayer dollars to reward CEOs on Wall Street. Of course, the two candidates did trade their usual jabs. Obama, for example, arguing that government spending needs to be cut dramatically by ending the war in Iraq. And McCain's campaign again criticized the media for aggressively investigating Sarah Palin, an argument that was taken up by an audience member in Scranton. We want the media to start doing their job and stop picking on little children because of their age and their pregnancies. Shame on you. Shame on all of you. That is a great question. <laughs> and both campaigns are still finding plenty of time to accuse the other of contributing to the economic crisis. So yes, they did find some common ground, but don't expect it to last. Chip Reed, CBS News, Media, Pennsylvania.